enjoy unlimited and uninterrupted internet broadband 24 hours daily for only $1,000. What? Yes, you heard me right. Subscribe now for only $1,000 and stay connected for a whole two weeks non-stop. For those of you on vacation, grab the opportunity to get in touch with your loved ones, family and friends while you're away. Rush now to any GAMCL outlet or call people one to be part of this amazing promotion. GAMCL. Yeah, bro. So let's talk. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm in London that can help you with all aspects of your legal work. If you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stewart and Co. can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, whether student visas, settlement visas, married visas, or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart & Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyancing, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. In today's world, everything imaginable is on the internet, which is amazing. And to find anything, it is easy. But that's not the case for Lamy. His standard internet connection is frustratingly slow, unable to focus on important things in life. He can't stream a video or search anything. He is fed up with messages like address is not found, time out connection, and Internet Explorer cannot find web page. That's when his friend Fatima introduces him to Gamtel. At Gamtel, we provide viable, cost-effective, and sustainable internet solutions to businesses and homes. With our nationwide fiber broadband connectivity through Ecoone Gambia Project, you can now say goodbye to slow internet. We provide quality services, blazing speed, and amazing customer services. All these at affordable price. Be like Lani and start using Gamtel broadband internet today. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Tanal man no boy my tanal mama pe. Tanal man no boy my tanal mama pe. Tanal man no boy go mala. Sini nanga ne. Ki de dama ko jo hi bar gi ma dege siye. Waaw lo togi. Wo na ko ne alhamis bu neka ak dimas bu neka. Dagn tan na juro min no boy si jakor bi. Kok dagn ya juro min no boy tegal ne la hora dan plus thousand. Manam te mi juro ne ak lo tek. Waaw. Waay juro min no boy da fora mengo. Su fe ke ne na amu juro min no boy mengo am ga niyent no boy mengo. Yo di ne la jo bonus fo. Bonus for can't do small or big projects with the same dedication and commitment as we do. With the reputation as the leading printing company in the country, when it comes to major projects and innovative solutions, we always deliver in high quality, thus receiving the trust and confidence of our clients. From the moment your order is placed to when it is delivered, we believe in exceeding expectations from the sales manager to the production team, the account manager, and the person delivering your material. We have state-of-the-art equipment and a highly experienced and competent workforce that enables us to deliver top quality work on time. At reasonable prices, we provide our clients with multiple solutions right from conceptualizing, designing, printing, binding, publishing, and distribution. For all your printing requirements, we are strategically located at the Sankumsila Highway, the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. We print, 
what you desire. Our facilities and services more accessible and find freedom all around us. With a location proximity to active markets, with a liberal air transportation policy, that daily pursuit is how we turn everyday opportunities for you. For all destination marketing support, customized packages for new existing airlines and operators, and for a highly ranked tourist destination, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority is here to serve. We regulate air transport, operate and manage BIA technical requirements, merge with commercial considerations. We have experienced and well-trained aviation professionals to cater for your needs. For investment opportunities in building airport hotels, shopping malls, playground for children, do contact us on 4472-831, 4472-893. Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. We go beyond daily. Big and most trusted agency in real estate and property management. We are here to make housing affordable, accessible for every Gambia, despite their financial status. What makes Universal outstanding in the market is our flexible payment plans. We set standards in sales and letting of quality properties, mortgage, leasing, rentals, property valuation, construction and many more. All our sites are fitted with social amenities such as schools, water, electricity, playing ground and a good road network. In Sukuta Phase 1 and 2, Jambanjeli, Sanyang, Brikama, Lamendaranka, and Gunjur coming up soon. Doing business with Universal Properties, it's a very wonderful experience. Universal Properties, FIB House, Caraba Avenue. It's another care for to, it's another guest. Uh, good evening to you all and welcome to uh, this um, discussion tonight at uh, care for it's an honor to have a distinguished uh, Gambian. Uh, Mr. Mustafa Njai uh, from 1999 have been working with Gambians all over and uh, of course with um, Africans to make sure uh, accommodation is provided to every Gambian who can afford it. Um, I think um, that tonight uh, we're inviting Mr. Njai to talk about Mr. Njai the man, but Mr. Njai a Gambian who has also paved the way for so many Gambians. Um, going through uh, his resume, we have realized Mr. Njai is um, employing over 700 Gambians. Um, why is he more into empowering Gambian youth? And of course, uh, we have seen him um, venture into providing accommodation across the sub-region. Um, he's working with the people of uh, Delta uh, State in Nigeria and the River State in Nigeria. Uh, these are projects that um, Taf Holding have been um, embarking on over the years. Uh, but of course, there have been so many development projects that we have seen uh, coming uh, uh, up. The Guy Taf project, of course, uh, a project that so many Gambians are pleased um, and is very welcoming in the country and of course um, we have also heard about the 10,000 homes uh, that tough holding is uh, going to embark on over the next uh, three years these are initiatives that we think Gambians should know about but of course um, first uh, daddy uh, we want to welcome Mr. Njai on our platform thank you Fatu thank you Mr. Njai and like you said it's a special kid Fatu mm -hmm. <clears throat> growing up I hear names like Carnegie Mellon, these were giants of industry. Mm -hmm. In the Gambia, I heard of names like Alice Carr, Daddy Jack, Mam Demba Cham. These were giants of industry within Gambia. But the difference between then and now, there was no succession planning. And Mr. Mustafa Njai, as far as I'm concerned, is a truly made in the Gambia story. Made in the Gambia, why? A man that is known because of the strides he made locally. A man that made himself when it was very difficult to be a somebody in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. A man that paved the way and became a trailblazer in terms of an industry we call the housing industry. And prior to getting into the housing industry, he was so consumed in the construction sector. I recalled as a child seeing him with a helmet walking the roads of perseverance and I just couldn't understand why, because I saw him with his contemporaries who were all yearning for academics. But what he has shown and what he has amply demonstrated that being successful is not only in the halls of academia, but 
following your passion, doing what you do, and be the best at doing it. But not only doing that, giving back, sharing experiences, paving the way, and mentoring the next generation. So that is what I call succession planning. That is what I call truly and proudly a Gambian product and a product that this country needs to be appreciative of and needs to hail and be proud of as a truly made in the Gambia story. Thank you, Mr. Njai. Thank you. Um, what an interesting introduction, uh, Daddy. Um, Oli, um, it's an honor to be um, on the same platform with Mr. Mustafa Njai. Um, definitely, but I'll start by congratulating him because we all know that Mr. Mustafa Njai Taf is a household name mm -hmm. who has paved the way for the real estate company, I mean real estate business in the Gambia. He has paved the way for um, set creating settlements for the lower class, the middle class, and the upper class. And he's not, he hasn't stopped that. Now we all know that Mr. Mustafa Nja is a philanthropist. Yeah. He's giving back to the community where he grew up, where he worked. So, I mean, to sit here on the same platform with him, I am truly honored. And I would, again, just go back and say, we are grateful. As Daddy said, you're a true, true son of the nation, and you're somebody that, you're a role model that, like people would look up to and you're somebody that started from zero to where you are right now so definitely your story is a story that would inspire a lot of people yeah. it has already started a lot of because you paved the way you're the one that created the niche that is this whole real estate settlement that people have now ventured into so um, welcome on Kirfatu and I'm very honored and grateful to have you here. Mr. Njai, uh, welcome to Kirfatu and briefly tell us who is Mr. Mustafa Njai? Thank you. Thank you, Fatwa. Thank you, Daddy. And uh, thank you, Odi. Um, and your camera crew. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am who I am. <laughs> I am just tough. Mm -hmm. um, uh, homely call Modu Mustafa. Mm -hmm. If you go to Perseverance, they call me Yahid. Yeah. You know, I'm a homegrown banjul boy. Yeah. You know, but um, uh, just briefly, I mean, I, I schooled in the Gambia um, um, uh, from uh, Wesley those days. Um, at, at elementary school briefly and then to Methodist prep yeah. uh, and then um, did my 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 common entrance and then um, to Gambia High School mm -hmm. uh, and then graduated from Gambia High School in 75. Um, after my graduation I, I, I took up my career I, I started working. I, I know people think that I, I chose you know uh, to go into into uh, my, my, my technical career, but I, when I sit down now at my age and analyze this, I, I think I just followed my passion. I mean, I, I had a passion to work, you know, technically with my hands. You know, I had an innovative mind, mm. and, and that, that's what I have up to now. I, I question everything I see. I, I look at opportunities. I look at, at challenges and turn them into opportunities. So I, I followed my passion, and my passion led me to who I am today. Um, uh, worked for international construction companies, but, but did everything in construction. I mean, um, uh, from working as a draftsman, as a surveyor, as a quantity surveyor, you know, as a, as a project manager. Um, and, and then um, about 16 years after, or 15 years after starting my career, um, I, I started my own business yeah. uh, way back in 1990. So it's about 28 years now. Wow. Um, uh, yeah, I know that sounds a lot, huh? yeah. 28 years. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, from then, I mean, I, I, I ventured into conventional construction. I mean, I, I tendered for jobs. I mean, some of the work that I've done, actually, is the School of Public Health that was done by, by Taft Construction. Um, the warehouses you see in, in, um, uh, in Bond, Bond Road that used to be owned by Bulle & Co. Yeah. We, we designed and built it. The, the Bond, the... Um, um, the bonded warehouses um, in, um, in, uh, at the port, mm -hmm. we designed and built it. Yeah. You know, just to name a few, Women's Bureau, you know, we built it, SL High School. But then about 1998, um, um, competing for jobs uh, wasn't that easy. Um, uh, the, level, the playing field wasn't level anymore, very bumpy. So I, I found a niche in, um, um, in, in housing development, mm -hmm. actually addressing the needs of Gambians who are in the diaspora. Um, um, the story everybody knows when you're in the diaspora and you know you send money back home and um, it's never put into houses. I mean uh, we have stories that um, uh, pictures are taken of other people's houses and sent to you. So I saw this niche and I ventured into it. You know and obviously small 
and then expanded, uh, you know, still following my niche and with my adventurous mind, you know, moved from doing some few units to multiplying it into hundreds. Um, uh, multiplying into hundreds, um, uh, then I got to a point where I, I, I saw the borders of this Gambia too small. I mean, I, I started seeing myself as a big fish in a small pond. <laughs> you know what that means? I mean, when you yeah. flick your, your fins, you know, you create waves. Yeah. So you just build enmity for, 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 for nothing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a very big heart on, on development. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I, I looked beyond the borders yeah. and, and started looking outside of the Gambia, Senegal, Mali, you know. Um, and then I've gone as far as, as, as Mozambique, wow. you know, and I registered our companies there, Rwanda, you know, Cameroon, but our, our success is in, is in, is in Nigeria, yeah. uh, you know, where, where, where we, we've been, we've successfully built and developed one of the biggest estates in, in the south side of Nigeria, in the Niger Delta, and that is in River State. Yeah, so, so that's who I am, and um, yeah. uh, gradually moving into my retirement, now that wow. I have people <laughs> like you, young people, taking over. <laughs> Um, over the years, from the Yarambamba estate to the Bruford um, AU Villas and other estates that um, Tough Holding have um, um, built over the years, has led to so the birth of so many real estates in this country. When you sit back and see all these real estate companies being the pioneer, what does that make you feel? It makes me feel proud. I'm very proud of it. I mean, and, and this is generally in, in business or in life. Whatever you are doing that you're not emulated, then it means you're failed. Mm. Every success story must be emulated and in numbers. Mm. So, so I, I am very proud as a Gambian, homegrown, homeborn, and um, seeing a lot of young people following our strides and also make, making a difference. I mean, because in every industry, there's always an, an undiscovered, you know, uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, um, for example, in, in the media and photography <coughs> business, um, uh, it's now emerged to using digital cards that is taking, you know, thousands and millions of shots. You remember probably some 20, 30 years ago, I mean, you used to buy a roll of film, of, uh, roll of film. Yeah. you know, done by Kodak. Actually, that name doesn't exist anymore. I hardly see anything with Kodak. Yeah. They were the giants of the of, of, of photography industry. Yeah. And um, that's what happens. I mean, you need to realize that as a player, when you are successful, you have the competition running after you. Mm -hmm. So you need to be on top of your game. Yeah. Um, other than that, you should be proud of others who are coming up and um, proud of being part of their successes. Yeah. And, and that's what I do. I mean, actually, at the construction level, when, when I see some of these young Gambians with talents, I encourage them actually for them to go on their own. And then I build a relationship with them. Then I outsource, you know, most of my work to, to, to them, rather than, you know, blocking their path. So really answering your question, I mean, when I see um, um, the competition coming up, young men coming into it, and being innovative, I mean, they're doing something different. Yeah. Um, I feel very proud uh, that um, um, I started it as a pioneer. But today, you know, you have um, probably close to hundreds of, of, of real estate yeah. companies coming up. And uh, the more the merrier. And yeah. a lot of people say, if I had this before, full of net, I'm more like, this is right? This is right But um, I want to come briefly, just briefly, on um, 22 years um, you were in this business. Um, a lot of people say. 28. 28 years, yeah, but 22 years in the former yes. government. Yeah. A lot of people said business was not a normal thing for anybody. It was difficult um, conditions. How did tough? triumph in all these uh, difficult circumstances, working alongside with a government that it was really difficult to operate under. And if you're going to give us a comparison, what would be your comparison between the former government and the government we have today? Well, I will add a third one. I mean, remember I started operating in the Jawara, Jawara days. Time. Yes. You know, so I worked for nine, four years before Jame came. Yeah. And then uh, after Jame, now, now Baro. Yeah. I think, let me start, let me reverse it. I mean, uh, it's too early to judge a, a, um, 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 a borough regime. It's one year. Uh, yeah, one year, but you know, normally, normally <laughs> a, a term constitutionally mm. is five years. Okay. So, so one year out of five is 20% of their time. Mm. So, so I don't know, maybe it's too early to judge, but you can probably make projections. Yeah. And, and you know, there's a learning curve. I mean, mm. so you must give it to them that look, let's, let's, let's be, Patient a little bit, uh, maybe we'll be, we'll be out of patience, but but I mean, 
you cannot compare it with, with, with a four year or you know four year of, 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 of Jawara or yeah. or in my own business yeah. or, or, or or twenty two years of jamming. Mm -hmm. Now comparing it, um, um, uh, Jawara was a democratic um, uh, government, mm -hmm. uh, you know. But the tail end where 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 I can judge is um, that generally people thought they were slow. Yeah. There were a lot of plans. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, every time they would tell you, oh, we have this project as in the pipeline. Yeah. So we used to joke, I mean, when will it come out of the pipeline? Uh, you know, but it was a democratic um, uh, government. Mm -hmm. And also, they were better structured. I mean, I won, I, I, I competed for works and then won works, you know, um, uh, on a very fair and, um, um, and, and, and flat playing field, level playing field. Um, we also ventured during the Jawara days into, into the hotel industry, in the hotel business, um, yeah. um, um, which is um, um, in, um, um, in tourism development. Okay. So um, I think in the Jawara regime, mm -hmm. um, uh, things relatively were slower um, uh, than the Jame regime, mm -hmm. but it was democratic and everything was above board. Then came Jame. Uh, I mean, <laughs> when he came first, I mean, way back in 1994, some of us were beneficiaries of, of some works that were not even tendered. I mean, I think initially, and these were the schools, um, they invited about six um, uh, Gambian companies. I was one of them. And um, we ne rates were negotiated on the same rate, you know, and just issued out to us. So we, we, we did the SL High School, and um, uh, they waived a lot of um, uh, contract conditions to enable probably build our capacity. We are also subcontractors to um, uh, CSC on the Farafenya Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, we also negotiated and did the bonded warehouses, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and many more. Yeah. The AU Villas, we, we developed it. Mm -hmm. um, um, but in the tail end, it was, it was, it was different. Uh, you know, if, if you divide probably the, the 22 years into three, I would say in the tail third end, it was a completely different ball game. Okay. Um, uh, we, we maneuvered, and that's what entrepreneurs do. You will always find stumbling blocks. I mean, you will always find you probably governments that are not um, uh, that um, um, uh, that are not transparent, probably, mm -hmm. or that are not that, that are not that much. Um, um, they, they don't create that environment for businesses to flourish. Yeah. But again, you know, you you, you maneuver around, yeah. and and uh, we we survived. We've got through, we've gone through some hurdles, yeah. and we found ways of going around it. And I thank God that we survived to this date. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, comparing the Jawara and the Jamea, yes. so as I said from the, from the beginning, mm -hmm. um, um, the uh, Baro regime, uh, we hope they can accelerate you know, their growth, mm -hmm. um, uh, realizing that they don't have time. Um, um, let, we still assume five years. I know it's, it's a public debate. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and say five years. Yes. Okay. But I mean, uh, a year out of, or a year plus mm -hmm. out of five years, you know, it's a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we were to, to speak to them, it's to start, you know, accelerating, you know, the pace, the growth pace. That is needed. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that's what um, um, government does. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, there's enough time being given to them. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, to put their house in order, mm -hmm. I think now we need a vertical takeoff. Okay. We should go like a rocket. Not, not. We shouldn't taxi before we we take off. We shouldn't taxi before we take off, daddy. Well, the gentleman said he is heading towards retirement, but I know he's not tired. <laughs> <laughs> so retirement, yes, that's ideal. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in the Gambia right now, a lot of people think that the real estate sector is a mature market. I still believe the market is yet to mature because we have a housing deficit, especially in the low end, mm -hmm. going more towards the middle end, low end, low income Gambians. How and what do you have in mind to work as a PPI, a public private initiative with the government to make sure because the motto growing up that I know about you is housing the nation. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that the nation consists of low income Gambians. Mm -hmm. The middle and top tier of Gambians are less than 15% of the population. So your motto, Housing the Nation, really talks about low income, and you have done a sample project, which is Yarambamba. Now, having a Yarambamba grown exponentially 10 to 25-fold, I think will really bring to fruition that word, 
you call housing the nation, yes. where 25 to 50,000 homes can be provided for low-income Gambians. And I do know that there is a problem, the problem of financing, especially as it relates to security, because these policemen cannot put down even 30%. So who's going to underwrite this? So what are your plans in terms of housing the low-income Gambians? Okay, let, let, as I said, I mean, we, our focus is, is on Africa. I mean, we, when, we, when we plan, we don't only look at Gambia. Yeah. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, population of 2 million people, um, um, uh, land area of 11,500 square kilometers is not much. Yeah. So uh, we have a vision to develop a million homes over the next 20 years. Wow. Uh, first, um, looking at long term. We believe in long term planning. And um, out of it, um, 20, about 25,000 will be built in the Gambia. Now, dividing it over the next 10 years, we plan to build 10,000 units. Now, to answer your question, I mean, there are different components that make up a house price. Uh, first is the land. And the reason why we were able to bring down the price of, of housing um, at Yarambamba was because land was given to us by government. Mm -hmm. And um, I can remember the prices. We sold houses in Yarambamba, complete houses, as low as $190,000. Yes. And I can tell you Quantum was my, they were my, they were my client. Yeah. And Mohamed Ja negotiated and bought for their staff. And that is why Quantum, is, the, the street is named Quantum Street. Mm -hmm. And I remember the price up to now. He was financed by then Islamic Bank. And each of those houses were $190,000. <laughs> but a big component was the land. So the land was given by government on an initiative to, be make, to make housing affordable. Yes. Now, next comes um, uh, the taxes and um, material that you use. One, materials. Over 90% of materials that, is, that are used in houses are imported. Mm -hmm. um, uh, VAT is charged on them. VAT is 15%. Um, uh, the tax on building materials is also high. A labor, there is a shortage of labor. So, simple economics where um, uh, the demand is um, higher than the supply. Uh, the, the price goes up. Yeah. Today, I will tell you that a laborer in the Gambia is be, being paid something like, what, $200, $300 a day. And you hardly see them. A tradesman is being paid something like $400, $500 a day. So um, that's, again, another one. Then also um, uh, VAT. VAT in the Gambia, as I said, after building a house, we have to add VAT. Taxes in the Gambia is 35% of our profit. So all these things are put together so um, uh, to come up with a house price. Mm -hmm. But all the same, we have um, a moral obligation yeah. to bring in the price of houses down. Mm -hmm. And that we have demonstrated. If you look at probably, if you go to the fair, uh, most recently, we are selling class A houses, you know, for $990,000, below a million. This is still not affordable to public servants. Yeah. We have initiatives we're working on. One is to partner with um, institutions that have land. For example, the security forces, as you, as you say, the army, they've got quite a lot of land. We've approached them that, look, in order to house your uh, members of staff, why don't you contribute your parcel of land as an equity so it doesn't cost um, anything to your, to, your, to, your, to your staff, and then it will be built by us. That will drive the price down. Then um, also we're talking to AMRC. We are aware that they have chunk of land so that we can work on an initiative where housing can be made affordable to public servants. It is our concern. I mean, we know that we have conquered the, the, the private sector. We have conquered the diasporans. We have tweeted, you know, the prices, so it's quite affordable to them now. We have, we have, we have organized mortgages together with some banks, mm -hmm. and they're issuing our mortgages at um, a single digit. Mm -hmm. That is if you're paying from outside. That's unheard of in this part of the world. Yeah. So that has been done, but I think we have a moral obligation yeah. to make housing affordable to the lower class of society. society. Whether you're working for the public servant or you're running your own small informal business. But this is going to happen with time. We are also engaging the multilaterals because there are funds available for such type of um, uh, businesses. Mm -hmm. Where one is long term um, and then the rates, interest rates will be low. So I believe with time um, uh, we will very soon see houses, you know, that are affordable to the lower end of society. Oh.
Um, this is very interesting because um, I have said this to Mr. Oseno. Uh, so I said when we had the interview, I was like, you know, how many of us can afford 1.3 million when yeah. we are just earning $5,000? So initiatives like this, I think, is very important. I think, I hope um, corporations can find a way of partnering with you guys to be able to uh, provide this kind of services to um, their staff. It's very important. Um, okay, recently, during the conference day, you've talked about creating a skill center, right, for the young people. But then I would just like to know, young type of skills, uh, like provides its skill centers because we know that right now for economic growth is about STEM, which is science, technology, um, science, technology, English, and mathematics. That is what is taking like economy be more than further. So with this um, center that you're creating, I know you said skills based, but what kind of skills uh, provide for these young people? Not uh, incorporate STEM. Uh, it's the driving force right now in the next five to ten years. The economy of basically the whole world, and then not only that. Since ne, um, this skill center parego loco, like you haven't started, yeah. Now here are partner at let's say GTTI. You know how many they provide skills for, like in terms of the construction business, like you know, or depending on what skills you want to train these youths. Let me start by I disagree with STEM. Mm. Okay. Let me start from there. I totally disagree with STEM. That's not what drive third world economies. Thank Maybe <coughs> the, the first world, you know, and the and the advanced world that will drive them, mm -hmm. but not definitely the, the third world. But STEM, STEM is just what everybody's now no. into now because it's about But does it mean it's right? It's Oli. It, it will. Oli. But I'll tell you why. Let me let me come in here. Okay. Let me come in here because a man man as 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 you know, mm -hmm. I am I am vocational by vocational yes. meaning mm -hmm. skills with working with your hands hard yes. skills and i think na, the reason why we we have so much unemployment mm -hmm. more because na, they buy you on boom yeah we only over here what a legal axel look the basic things of life that you need so i'm going to get axel law demo law fan today we see name for the construction mm -hmm. very expensive cars being driven in this country yeah. so what do we have can i go legal we're having those problems. Mm -hmm. So what is happening now? We're spending a lot of money in all these things here. You know, in Europe, America, in the advanced world, you eat enough dog. Why fini desna? So muto yoyi sunyo we dunje am kuko kuko ipi abiko jangalu nyandara. Definitely. Tei so said law aferi sampakir. Yena kero bari soko hole yilengi denga yilenge dan yilenge deme board because jelo in time pulige. Kupa de hali sangsi. So we say tei unemployment lita mubari see the third world across Africa. Man, I have traveled to 36 African countries and in my passion to just you know develop skills and, and, and build houses mm -hmm. and in this I'll tell you what I've discovered anywhere you go is the same when I went to Nigeria regardless of its size of um, 180 million people I had to ship out into Nigeria 400 mm -hmm. tradesmen yep. from Senegal and Gambia, and Gambia. Mm -hmm. so man I disagree our skill center addressing the issue even GTTI on the serious debate, I disagree with their curriculum. Thank you. Because, listen, I did it. In 1975, when I left school, I worked as a junior teacher in Gambia High School, doing woodwork. And then from there, I went to Miserio in Lamin. It's called Lamin High School. It was Lamin Technical Center. And uh, I used to teach woodwork. And then, being an entrepreneur, so my wife at 2 o'clock, my job. From 2 o'clock by 6, the legal students, the legal school furniture. So those people, the way they were trained, that's what we want to adopt for our vocational center. Okay. Where very little theory, okay. very little theory, but get people to work with their hands. I know somebody, you know, an intellectual who has worked all his life, Gambian, but living somewhere else. When he wanted to build his house to his taste, you know what he did? He went and studied and did a course in fixing up moldings. Because Munta and Ben Uvriya Goko Posel. So therefore, there's a demand. But for the one dollar, how does this thing work? I didn't know this thing work. Moi, yep, moi, fetch gachi, fetch a sohla. Lord, I'm here to do that. Go buy a dollar, you're going to only get that. Go buy a makias, leka leka go nea, da wal moto go nea. Lord, I'm going to do that. Now, as long as it is being done properly, see you on legally, from now on, you can reject. Take so little to make me Gambia. My biggest problem today, I don't know, buy a dollar, yep, moi, nyaka ligeka. And with capacity. <coughs> the other thing, more we need to be very careful. I mean, the the the, the, the open border policy through the um, uh, um, Africa free 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 zone. Free zone. Yep. It is coming. Yeah. So these are things we need to watch. Yeah. Recently, mm. 
yange gis ñu ngi gas di fiber optic cable ku nek around the peri urban area gis nga ko yeah because of my mind ak sili ma neka dama romba ben bes ser gay gas dama ni ñoo liggey rek mom ma won ne ñu duñ gambia okay yes ñu ngi segas nak bu tanga bi ñu ngi gas applicas ku nek ñu ngi discipline ma anda ma ngi anda suma staff bi ma dem de len look ñu duñ gambia ñu nan ko xamé may la xarama taxaw laaj len ma laaj len it was a senegalese farm ñu xamé dañ len ko sok contract pour ñu def ko dem dika xaliss bu du jeex mu ci you know so therefore technical and vocational skills am na xaliss mu na fajj gatché mu na xey suba nga mu nga wër mu na dé nga tala sa loxo ñu fay la as a country i think we need to look at our policy suñ xala yi di jalla di dem come back way ay yoy yeb thousands it's a major problem not only to the gambia but across the african continent liko waral moy dañ bayyi bena 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 trend du wara jangale xale yi xale so ci de ina curricula da ñu de primary school dem what they call it now senior second junior second school middle school man dama de confuse ba mu sey bu wé ci affaire yi nga dem middle school at middle school all academic nga wacha at the age of 17 18 sa janga mu tuto amulo metchi ñun time bi ñu nekk xale ba di duga suñu lini dañ la tena identify so dem junior secondary school ñu ngi ñu ngi pave the way pour nga am skills ngay def ay home economics di def ay metal work di def ay wood work example bi sori wut na la isu ben example papi dadi nyaay ñi ño start am vtc xam nga wedi gis bokku ci apare fenn bañ na serndé ci télévision la ko waxé omar nyaay makay ray nyaay ibu dondé ñi ni ñu gis start won technical lañ nga oyé you know from that you know some technical thing ñu ngi joggé won school bi ñu joggé won ñu am ci jom liggéey ci ba tay ñu doon kiñ doon su fekké da nga sét lu so ci bëgg da ñun suñu mas gi la so bëgg example ñu melni ñun ci lu melnu lañ jaar ba tay ñu doon ci kiñ doon anglais dañu wax né des dignity in labor i think we need to reorientate our curriculum ba paré suñu xalé yi ñu wax lañu paré jog té la jog paré ñaha paré liggéey liggéey ñak fi you know we can prove that i mean over the next 10 years we are going to create 50000 jobs liñu war moy pour ñu liggéey suñ ko amuté fi ci ko fenen definitely the borders are open suñ ko amuté fi in the gambia nen ko out other african countries suñ ko amul africa nen ko out ci biti because we are living in a global village the opportunities are here it's up to us as gambians as halal as halay fi neka tolu ak diñ tolu ñu paré ñaha paré dan sen doole suñu dané sen doole sen 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 am interest la parce que nañ nañ gagner halis dañ lañ leen fay halis bu baax ba pare nañ jangal metier eleka sibir suñu bëggé melni taf nañ melni taf o ñu melni keneen so skill center bi is skill center is focus on 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 really to address my my shortage of skills okay. we are going to train people on the job um, um we, we and and you know they will they will be for example we we targeting they will put one at the um, at the airport at the guy taf project where whilst people are working and earning money they will be trade so du ñeka ci di outil les possibilités waye li yob mu ngé am rek su féké né xalé yi pré ñu ñëw liggéey man fo nga né li ni at every level a government level dañ ko wara tékop ci kéri dañ ko wara tékop ñun ci mbédam yi dañ ko wara jël dañ ko wara tékop pour xalé yi change sen attitude paré ñaha paré liggéey pour sen on interest la suñ ko defu xam nga lu xew very common i will tell you the day have most of the time da nga adam be aga bena stage bo xamne nga cross sa fort yi jangulo metier munu lo liggey amulo jangulo xam nga lu sey dess ñu lajur ci juma ji gudal kurus bu ga la waré so really we we must face the facts yeah. and address ko suñ doom yi lañ suñ jarbaat yi lañ suñ ma suñ dekandor yi lañ we need to really buy hell ci kanam fu mo jublu xale yi nañ jang metier xale yi nañ jang metier fatou i hardly agree with people you know that yes. you never but do. i was nodding when the gentleman was speaking mm-hmm. because yeah. see the problem with this country we have we have what i call a structural unemployment not that there are no jobs mm-hmm. but people are not trained for the jobs That's that are available, available. soft skills have been put forth before hard skills and hard skills are the building blocks and foundations of life 
And like he rightly stated, my dad were one of the pioneers of vocational training and vocational education in the Gambia. And I have seen what hands-on has done mm -hmm. and what hands-on has done for him as a person. Yes. Today, I'll give you a simple example. I was at the Kairaba Mosque. Amazing job being done in there. And guess what? Not a single Gambian being employed to do the beautification of the mosque. I told a gentleman who was in the mosque committee, I said, here is an opportunity. He said, what? I said, this mosque can pay kids $2,000 a month, get 20 of them to understudy these Senegalese. The average age of you know, those workers is about 26, 28. Mm -hmm. They'll be here for a whole year. If we have 20 people to understudy them, we have 102,000 mosques to really beautify in this country. Mm -hmm. It becomes an industry. Mm -hmm. But what we lack in the Gambia is a skill base. And when I say skill, I always talk about hard skills. Yeah. Everyone wants to be a lawyer, an accountant, mm -hmm. and the economy doesn't have the absorption capacity yeah. to give them jobs. Mm -hmm. But you look at the housing boom, the construction boom in the yeah. Gambia. We have a deficit of workers. Mm -hmm. So our unemployment is more of a structural rigidity mm -hmm. that is forced on us by our education system. And to date, the education system is not looking or preparing to address this issue. And you ask yourself, are they in tune with the demands of the labor market? The labor market is demanding for hard skills. But we don't have institutions providing and producing people with these hard skills. So whilst the gentleman was talking, I was just nodding oh, yeah. and said, here is a spokesman for what I cry for every day. Mr. Njai, I think you're quite right. And this country, <laughs> yeah. We need to tell people, and we need to show people mm -hmm. that wearing a suit and tie to work is not what productivity is all yeah. about. Productivity is about filling the gap that the economy needs and making a decent and a dignified livelihood out of it. Uh, we're going to take our first commercial break. Huh? When they say, uh, this is the guy tough project B. The 10,000 homes, we are having the uh, tough holding, you uh, call Buga Indi. And of course, uh, Mr. Njai, the politics be at the end of the year. You know, you know, you know, you will take our first commercial break. Bring you here and you know, you know, you know, The Gambia Revenue Authority wishes to inform the general public that income earned from the letting or leasing of property is taxable as per the Income and Value Added Tax Act 2012. In this regard, the general public is hereby informed that payment of rental income tax is an obligation on any person who earns income from letting or leasing properties. All rental income earned from properties in the Gambia is subjected to rental income tax. There are two types of rental income tax. A residential rental income tax charged at the rate of 8% of gross rent received. Commercial rental income charged at the rate of 10% of gross rent received. It is important to note that failure to declare and pay rental income tax is illegal and punishable under the Income and Value Added Tax Act 2012. To pay your rental income tax, rush to the nearest GRA domestic tax office or any of GRA's designated banks. Remember to pay your taxes and on time. GRA, collecting revenue for national development. want the best in office supplies? Do you want value for money? Then look no further. Vital Trading Limited is here for you. Vital Trading Limited is the best in town when it comes to office supplies and all your printing needs. We brand, rebrand, design and print logos, flyers, caps, pens, 3D signboards, neon signboards, envelopes and many more. We also have bank coin counters, bank note counters, Fire protect saves, just to name a few. At Vital Trading Limited, satisfaction is guaranteed and we deliver on time. Visit our office today on the Bertel Harding Highway, opposite the GNPC petrol station. Better still, call us on 4498756, 4498962. Visit our website today, www.vitaltradinglimited.com. Want the best in all your office supplies and printing needs? Then come to
Sophie, mais on a vos selles tenir. Bah la tu halal, ak mac yep, amna calcium, iron, protein, ak vitamin yo bari. Sophie, full cream powder milk la, amna 20 gram, 200 gram, ak 400 gram. Koko nyam do tu ko bai. Sophie, proudly Gambian. Welcome back. Come to my here. Like, tell you what I'm doing now. Then I think is the money we have. Say you know, like, when you know, I'm Gambian. So you have the role models. You need to watch the younger sense stories. Tough one of them, Jack. But tell you what I'm doing. And I think it's important for me to understand. Mom, hey, you right now, like, tough. If I'm to him, Jack, Mr. Jai, the new you see a guy tough project. Project will have me. Then we will How did the idea come about? Um, learn more inspired the guy tough a Gambian the project will super learn lens is expect learn lens is into okay um guy tough um uh, to start with Lulu S ah. um uh, project B was the trade gateway project initiated by the Jawara regime Sila mm -hmm. yeah. um, the trade gateway project um the Jawara regime you can the Singapore of Africa mm -hmm. you identify um, um you identify yeah. airport B at Bond Road we have a project here. Need do they help? Do they happen overnight? Right. Then came the German regime. Be German new way. New come as new be new 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 actualize the project. Muam. Um. Uh, okay. At the airport, um, 160 hectare. Mm -hmm. You know, Temera Jerome Jerome Ben Fuki hectare. Yeah. Momla momla identify. So do guys airport be send they job. Um. Uh, then World Bank new co finance on new finance one. You know the pilot project. I'm the pilot project before Nega. We sample for being a warehouse, bought um, 2,000 square meters, mm -hmm. and some services yeah. on four hectares right, out of the 160. Yeah. But a new service, another four hectares. We have definitely a pipe services here. Sample mangas in Iraq, at least we are modest. So, um, Jamie, time we find that um, for the green industry, we go. For the new, for the new Westwood, we go. Um, uh, guy Panyoko don't manage. manage okay. um, uh, in 2009, then float on tender. You know, Guy Panyo float on tender. Those days for Najib Salawon. Mm -hmm. Invite developers for new 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 Jekaliko. New Jekaliko will pare. Come live with me. Time Bobu, new new Dugal Swing Kate apply for Neka, one of the developers. Um, five length like, pre qualify on. Time Bobu, new Regno Sinekon Gambian in 2009. Mm -hmm. And then for you, they came from um, outside the Gambia. Why been you put Dugal Kajin? I've been what the evaluation be. You'll let you qualify out of the five. So naturally, you'll let you go. And this was approved by the World Bank. You know, they call a guy upon your different recommendations. The evaluation here, you know, World Bank approved co and and support co. But I'm against a co, you are it a co. They got into that. I'm humbling a sack in a confu time, Bobu, guy for selling co dahe. You know, uh, but no, as I said, no history of Muromba. Yeah, be Gurgi Nuena, a guy Buga de Caliwat, Ligay Bobu, um, Delwat for File Emon. Yeah, okay, Kileko Ganya wanted the Mufiban table for a Gambian la, um, uh, what guy per actually Numa approach, mm -hmm. actually, not even the the the, the executive. Mm -hmm. You approach. Know, look, we've gone to our files and we've seen this, mm -hmm. and um, we know that you have even gone bigger. Yeah. You know, we want to engage you. So you engage mm -hmm. you in a very transparent manner. Mm -hmm. You negotiate, come to the fair for NECA, and you, 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 you form a partnership, partnership. on a public private partnership. partnership. Mm -hmm. And under what you are, you have an SPV. You have to do it. And SPV is a special purpose vehicle. Come company to the company. Because you have to shares. While this is open, the private is more than the other. Because you have to do it. Government na faneka um amfa shares talks board b again a yungwara def so um lolo mo i fin jarbe axi fin axi tay um super super high ma correct na fa melni deka bunda ola neka but na fa neka deka bo hamne warna muna melni swata highway Dubai ni mel kisi nga fit jamnya yori dem yu barenga kisi jamnya yu Senegal ni fa def lu mel nunu la si 160 hectare bini na fa am i industries i factory yu hamne na fa create employment. Um, Hello, I'm not a boarding school, a good boarding school, I'm a university, private university, I'm an airport hotel, I'm a residence. Lo I'm not a good person. 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 Therefore, 
ni la wali wara mel wala mel no i will give you nalgo ben example rek ñun awa demand for power rek it's over 60 megawatt pour fofu rek pour fofu rek because you know industry mak lañu try pour attract so ma fim nek ni ci fiñ tolu president bi tekna the foundation stone ba pare engage ni suñ consultancy ñu ngi am a lot of international consultants ñu xamne they are involved in the job plus local consultants because we are competing at the international level so lepa luñ def rek suñ la waxe na louis vuitton la do ne de louis vuitton bu joge gambia gambia o louis vuitton bu joge america no louis vuitton louis vuitton la so ñun louis vuitton lañu defar ci fi mo ñu wax sampa fi ni level bobu def won la ko it should be the rolls royce of development te dañ bu ko compute compute li nga fek ak senegal jam ñaajo o li nga fek ak malaysia o li nga fek ak lekki in lagos in lekki there's also a free zone there you know where ñom dangote ñu fa sampa the biggest refinery in the world not in africa dangote mu nge build the biggest refinery in the world in the lekki free zone so ñun li mo ñu motivate and suñ bagay yi daf ñu sud rek way fa lañ ko lay tek ne su fekke ne aliko muna def lu em ni mu deme ni lu tax mu ñu ko def fi ni so lolu moy guy taf bi dafa ne create a lot of employment both directly and indirectly so e maison employment ko de maison da nga set ñi nga xamne liggey bi du du liggey directly de waye ñi jaay gëtt saaf liggey bay tax ñuy dunda ñi isi ndox ñi isi xeer jëlé ko sénégal ñi def li ñi def li yëpp ñu ñu yëpp indirect employment bu ñoo create la après direct li ñi nga xamne ñoy liggey ci biir liggey bi mo tam benen par la so in total dal liñ xayma moy ne dinañ create lu mut 50000 jobs over the next 10 years project bi ñu ngi xalaat ne maximum of 10 years warna je so lool moy gaitaf project and in terms of um, investment about 300 million dollar investment la bobu nak suma ko waxe ba ko ma he ngok nak am nga do nga sawo ba liggey nak but 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 i mean li li xaw moy du suñu boss amuñ ko du nekku suñu poss waye gis nga so nekke ci adina ngay def business yi sa profile fa fum la yobu xam nga yo xam nga dañu 28 years ñu ngay def li am ku la may reer ku la may ndewo may la agn su la diggere su la diggere nga so therefore ñun tamit ci suñu ci suñu experience nit ñi xam nañ ne lu ñu mu sa lebal dañ ko defey ba pare biñ commencer di lepp commencer di lepp ay 1000 di lepp ay hundreds of thousand di lepp ay millions ben legi ñu wara aga 300 yaakar nañ ne am nañ di pedigree nit ñu onu nañ ñu suñ ko laccé jaar fiñ wara jaar warta 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 nekkal difficult no warta jaa war nañ ko mo def ba pare again rek pour won la rek li an taf di big name it's not about me do about man anymore wa nga legi ci retirement And, and that i mean it man fim nek ni i work 4 hours a day mm-hmm. you know am ko sene ba am set bala ma de set ci man la je endo ci ak suma suma jabar so fu ya hal ni fotu di be 10 o'clock bala ma bala ma gina and uh, by 2 o'clock i'm back fi la le le fi la juye tis bar le le suma duge fi xana ma den gena ci big bi exercise yi bala ma gena next day bi waye li nga xamne mako mom be te ma de ñu lay mel moy suma boho bi so boho bi my brain cannot retire <laughs> but the front the foot soldiers mm. the foot soldiers mo ñoy ñi nga xamne ñoy def liggey bi they are the ones who are doing the work yeah. and again i will quickly tell you i know that as youth yeah. uh, you would love to hear this mm-hmm. and it's strategic and planned man my average um, age at management level today is 30 hmm. li nga diga taf yi yu graw yi xew ni yep ay boy ay ay xale jigen yo xamne tati ñu graw 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 ñu ñu ma gëna graw man dama xela dara rek ne leen mané li wané ko tawal six story ñu ma dé ay mo li mu ne ko yobu tati and they start working on it so man suma liggey moy pour topato suma liggey kadi i've worked with your team just for two days to put this show on but the way i see the way they are so much protective of your image the brand and everything it tells me something about you the man How is your relationship how are you able to keep this kind of relationship with your team No ni mala wala man man ñu ñu suma soxla Yeah Ba pare ñom sen soxla moy clients Okay So man li ma def moy pour topato len pour ñu content bek Ba pare am dox len cadeau dox len decision pour ñu jël ko pour mëna pour mëna perform Man so ñu wé typically ci suma management meeting ma dé mujjé wa dama dé gis ñena ñi légué légué ci ñu suma office ñu ñu en groupe ki neka boss bi moy way yeb ñu dem sen yoon waye man da ma dé set pour talents i identify talents and then i empower them 
So, so to get some management meeting, I call it Gambel Lady Bokat was management meeting. We must say, oh, how much I can link with the def. Because for not turn numbers in the Bopare, from the Kanyomu, you propel send Bopan Yudem. But typically, someone fake in Nigeria, my father Ligay, and um, uh, I had a big staff who were mainly Nigerians, you know, Manmai Mujewa. When I sit on a management meeting, I open it up, then, okay, this issue, Fatu, Lohera Sili. Daddy, low hell, Kiwa, only low hell. No legal to be wool. Legal, legal, Lima Yakaron plan, Kosadumoko, the money, okay, Dak or Lida Diva Mumla, Nijelku. It's a way of, you know, crisis of good management. A good manager or a leader, and you're only going a leader. A good leader, more leader being a hand, the Muna identify what are the weaknesses and the strength of this, of the folk that it leads. No more a fiddle leader, a good leader. Lida nak muna bon, lida muna ba. Walau lida bu ba, mukhi ser lu nyinga hanya mungkin jite. Kan mukhi muna def lu ba, enggak enggak jilsi mom, buboko muam. Hanya ni lu nyot def ni yopte film nak ni, super ni ada taf lah. Fikir mana helat rumah kosah, hal masalah dia. Ia lu nyinga def ni tay bengen tawa liyap. Ya semua staff beron dir, semua pi, mungkin def yubari. Letter, hal makan lah kerja bina letter. Computer. The, the most I do my, with my, with my WhatsApp and my, with my telephone. Yeah. You know, so really, lol my secretary, um, lol lag man ko jile si naman employee la won, lige kat la won. Naman lige for 15 years. Dad lul neka, ham lul neka. Not only, but pare ham, lan la lige kat wara sohla. Lige kat lim soare mo yuk ko gis. So ko topo toye mo topo tola. Nigeria mo gina grow. We made me Nigeria, and I will tell you this. We made me Nigeria to start with. The first thing was, you know, eh, Nigeria never grow, especially in the Niger Delta. Yeah. For who in the North Shell, go to New Zealand. Niger Delta very operate. Nigeria never be busy. I know you have to be for doing. So you dem far. Muneka terrain bo ham ne ningi de ko ragal. Far bakan agnan sin dohmi le emal. Lord do far dara. Da fala nyong ken sarawu wa fala inkore in ogoni. Well, it's a stone throw from you know, in, in Transamadi. So, first, I identify some young people, you know, as subcontractors. Because Ligay be more re 165 million dollars. It was all done by young Africans, including Nigerians. Yeah. So, when the Niger, when I came in, I identified first to start with 42 of them. How many land you have? It's Gambia. They came to the Gambia, you know, just link for death. They learned from what the contractors, young contractors, we are doing in the Gambia. Because you know, Amadou Jigo. Amadou, you know, 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 you know. Then from all the skills, the talents, the talent, the talent, the talent, the talent, you know, you know, you know. So, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Then, you know, you know, you know. About 15 young contractors in Yoko Ligay. My brother, you Ligay in four months. Wow. And they were all Gambians, yeah. freshly graduated from GTTI. Yeah. So, Benjamin Nigeria, continuing the story, my identify 42 Yini, Isi Lenfi. Benjamin back. Wow, they made me back. First, to start, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they Ligay is contracting. So, they have a Halis. They are like Isi Bon. Performance Bon, Advanced Payment Bon. And that's always a problem with the small and medium-sized contractors. Mm. So, as an entrepreneur, I looked at them, I spoke to them. They were looking to me as a mentor, not only as an employer. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I waived all the, all the, all the bonds and the um, uh, uh, guarantees for them. Mm. Everybody, including my directors, my chairman, who were Nigerians. Oh, no, 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 this is Nigeria. You cannot do this. But five years later today, or seven years later, I have not been duped one butut by doing so. So really, lesson to learn here, Moine, Niki Loko Joharek Mumla Delo. Um so I may ligue cut, empower them. One len kolute, ya ko jisinyom, mu multiply. Well so fake don't start by the uh kidal, you know, such a katla, the fa such a sumali, the father sumali. Obviously Mugisera Yota meet Ningamel is re mu recipe. So Lord that my answer be um uh, Okay, let me just go na like the for to train. You're talking about mentorship. Yeah. Now right now don't have any mentorship program bo hamne yanko ampur hale because most of the tough name be like already mentor na nyena nyina na wow, nyena nyina wow. inspired. So uh. na am ga any either you have it on the pipeline or no, we have it. right now. We have okay. it. We have Club 10. Yeah, okay. Club 10 was um, it's about 2 years old now. Okay. What we do is we hold dinners, you know, from time to time. 
bring in not only me but successful Gambian mentors. You know, you have successful in their own areas. You know, you talk about how you are me, I'm you attend. You know, I'm not in the one. I'm not you have Idina Masi Hatib Janegi senior. You know, is in a Aki Allen. Um, um, uh, Alpha Bari. Uh, Alpha Bari. Alpha Bari So yeah. we were very careful. careful okay. yeah. But we were always been committed in a loop. If Mustafa Njai is seen as a success story, mm -hmm. our success is incomplete unless we multiply it locally. Mm -hmm. That is my strong belief. Yeah. So we are going to, we are going to have Club 10. And I have a lot of mentors, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of mentees. Mm -hmm. uh, Tiga. You just want to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not again uh, Binta Mane. You know Binta? No. He's called Ansu Bees. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Karite. Yeah, Dingalambi. You know, Dingalambi. You know, and many, many, many more. A lot of young people, you know, that we mentor, you know. Yes. I don't want to go back to Nigeria. When I sat down, my big tough is going to Nigeria. Mm. I'm like, how, how on in the world is he going to penetrate mm -hmm. market in Nigeria with the quality of buildings? I give you refer to is Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How were you able to penetrate Nigeria? Well, to first I was not a man. I saw an opportunity there. Yeah. I saw this big number, mm -hmm. and I was going for it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, any opportunity in the world, both Hamera Fire, Bifa yield benefits. Mm -hmm. There are challenges. Yeah. So if you can, you're challenging us to them. So man, I saw the opportunities and then I went in. Actually, you know invite. The whole story, I was invited, I was recommended by the World Bank. Wow. You know, because of Limadev Gambia. So Limadev feeling this, then the, the executive director of the Bureau of Public-Private Partnership mm -hmm. of River State was sent by the governor of River State. Those days, I'm uh, Rutimi Amiji. Mm -hmm. You know, after when you like, oh, there's this Gambian who can do this, da 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 So she came here. She came and went, wow, when, when she saw um, uh, Burford Gardens. Of course, it's not only, the only one. Mm. The Minister of Tourism, there was a lady from, from uh, Burundi, mm. came here. I call it the same boat, same line boat. Mm. Mama called on that time, madam. She invited me to Burundi. And I, I met, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Per Nguringuza. Nguringuza. Nguringuza, tell you want to play football. Yeah. I met him. I have explored Burundi. I went to Burundi, you know. So, uh, one thing that I man in my in my business style, nakala mo de feli mo. Do ma de gis amar ragal si business. Okay. You know, lo masi feka nak salam. Salam. But I have also tried a lot of things which we need to tell the young ones. Mo mm ine, -hmm. they always count the successes but forget about the failures. <laughs> I have failed so many times. Wow. I have made so many attempts and failed. I will not call it a failure, but um, before I went into Nigeria, I used to have an office in, in the UK um, selling Gambian properties to Nigerians. But one of the things that I always do in my business is very thorough research. Mm -hmm. At that time, I did my research and found out that there were 5.4 million Nigerians living in the UK and Europe. And they were my targets. And I was targeting them as tourists, people who will buy second homes. So what I did was I bought airtime from um, Ben TV. Mm. I mean, those who are living in the UK mm -hmm. will see that. Yes. And then it was prime time. Mm -hmm. I bought time between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So I would go there, you know, and then the next thing I did was to do um, inspection trips. I was paying, you know, free inspection trips for Nigerians living abroad and Gambians to come into Gambia, inspect our properties, and we tried to sell it to them. It worked for some time, and then it, it didn't work. A lot of people were telling me, oh, no, no, how can you take this risk? How about if they, if they just want to come and enjoy themselves? But we did it. I mean, uh, it was very scientific the way we marketed ourselves. I mean, I would go on TV. Then the next thing is I would broadcast our website. Then we go on the Google Analytics to see where the hits were coming from. So we, I know where the interest was, was. For example, in North London, there was a cluster of Nigerians. In, in Ireland, there were a lot of Nigerians who were there. So I will now move on and do further road shows there. So all these things were done. Yeah. I went to Mali. We didn't succeed in Mali. Hmm. You know, I went to Togo. They were dragging. Cameroon, dragged. And we will open an account, we'll open the business, we'll start paying staff, you know. Rwanda, you know. So, but the big success is out of Nigeria. Yeah. So to answer your question, really, um, as an entrepreneur, um, uh, once we detail out our marketing plan or our entry plan, all we see is just to shoot for it. 
obviously it's just a suit for the, I think uh, that you have to wang you get jam what time bang in there. Um you wanna come in or before? <laughs> well I guess um all I can say mm -hmm. Mr. Jai have said it all, but um I think there's some takeaway points that Gambians need to learn. Yeah. In the Gambia we hear names like Shaib and Madi, still household names after ninety five to a hundred years. Mm -hmm. We hardly hear of a Gambian business that survived past the guy or the person who built the business. Mm -hmm. But for the first time in corporate Gambia, I'm comfortable to say that tough business, the business of tough, will outlive the owner. And I think that is success in itself mm -hmm. because there is succession planning and there are structures in place that's bigger than the individual. Because when we hear tough, we always make it synonymous with the person. But now what we have seen and what we have heard from him, when we hear TAF, it's all about procedures and systems. And these systems will outlive him. And I think that is a plus. And the first time in corporate Gambia, where an indigenous Gambian owns a company that will most likely go beyond a generation. And for that, a big thank you. And I do hope the up and coming entrepreneurs we learn because what we like in the Gambia case studies. Mm -hmm. And the best case studies are to learn from the likes of Mr. Njai. And yes, he said he has failed in the past, but guess what? He's very agile in the way he gets up and move on to the next thing. And that's resilience. And it's the resilience we need in Gambia to make sure that our businesses go to the next level and the next stage, which is the regional and the global stage. Wow. Um and finally, before we go, what's next for Mr. Mustafa Njai? Well, for Tap Africa Global, yeah. uh, I told you what our vision is. Yeah. Uh, we have a vision to develop a million homes, homes yeah. over the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, I tell you my age, I'm, I'm 61 now. So you can imagine at, at the next 20 years, <laughs> God knows where, where, where I'll, be, I'll still be around or I'll be strong enough to be, to be in, involved. But mm -hmm. as Daddy said, um, we have a structure. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt that the, with that structure, you know, they can... They can um, fulfill our, our, our vision. Mm. So that, that's our vision. Our vision is to develop one million affordable homes across Africa. Yeah. And uh, also we have projects like, like GAITAF. Um, uh, we're also um, um, entering a lot of PPPs. You know, we approach um, um, institutions that have got land or want to do development. So we come in with our expertise, you know, across the Gambia. So that, that's really uh, what we are working on. Our vision is very clear. We know exactly where we want to be in the next 20 years. And, and again, I would just want to bring that now into, into, into countries and governments. And that's what governments need, yeah. to have clear vision on where you want to lead a country. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, so if I want to now move on to a sector, where a sec uh, no, the sectoral level, which is the real estate. You've mentioned about real estate and how it is booming. Through your medium, I want to urge government that they need to move fast yeah. and regulate this industry. Thank you. There is need for regulation. Yeah. That is the responsibility of government. Mm. Because today, the trend that we have seen is that you know, developers, so-called private developers, anybody can register to be a developer. I don't have any problem with that. Yeah. But they need to be regulated. Yeah. What does it take for somebody to be a developer? That's number one. Number two, this in, um, involves land, which is the most and it's the primary um, 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 uh, component of housing de development. Mm -hmm. Now, land, all we have seen is people are going now on, on, into communities, yep. taking land, demarcating it. I mean, a lot of people are being duped. Mm -hmm. A lot of scam is within this industry today. Yeah. Infrastructure is failing. There's no infrastructure being done. Um, papers are just being drawn up telling you, oh, no, no, we will have this, we will have X, Y, and Z. Monies are exchanged. Some developers are even working like banks. <laughs> so government needs to wake up. It is their responsibility to regulate this industry. Mm -hmm. Regulating it is not only good for um, a certain, like the players themselves, but all the parties that are involved. Mm -hmm. One, government will generate better revenue. Because if you regulate it and put certain things in place, I mean, charge certain fees for certain services, it means you are generating more revenue. Number two, you're protecting the clients. I mean, there are Gambians who are abroad, working day and night, mm -hmm. sending their money in here, and it is just um, disappearing into thin air. Yeah, yeah. 
So regulating it will help yeah. those. Yeah. And then also the players themselves will also regulate them. Mm -hmm. It will now get them to be better organized. Yeah. So I think government needs to move very, very, very fast yeah. through the Ministry of Ministry Responsible for Housing, okay. which is the Ministry of Local Government and Lands, to have a unit, whether it's um, a, um, um, a public enterprise or whatever, mm -hmm. but move on regulating this industry. And this can be done by bringing all the players into some brainstorming exercise, you know, um, uh, some workshops, you know, some meeting where every player is there to define the way that this industry should head. Yeah. Uh, finally, not Mr. Yeah. Ah, there have been so much rumors. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fanja is yeah. interested in politics. Mm. Are you thinking about <laughs> venturing into politics? You want to take it? Ah, yeah, as a young I'm person, I'm a lady. Since, uh, me, since as a young, young person, wow. every time I, I go outside, actually, yeah. you know, because I do a lot of public uh, public speaking, and you know, but but in Africa, and be in certain forums, wow. you know, um, uh, that's the, the question that always comes up. Mm. Oh, are you one time deciding to venture into politics? Yeah. And my answer is always no. Um, uh, in Nigeria, um, so I'm a successful business person. Next thing, boy, power, mm -hmm. politics. Wow. Generally, no the guy they behave. This is business money, the Donald they, Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will tell you, Malima Gum. Malima Malima Gum. Malima Gum, boy, don't miri wunye ka amna njiri njio muna amsiriyo. You bari ni duga into politics, you hamleta ni se duga. You bari ni duga into politics, especially in Africa, pur utluni amla. Duma ni njop. So. Why lingis la? Lingis bunin konya kawa. Mm. Africa la wahana. Mm. Li opposite Africa la yonduga po uteling am. Mm. Mande suveke ne utluma amla. Mm. Yaka nane, mm. wone nas mwa bopa, yeah. amna tour si business mari va pare. Yeah. Kuma hambu baha ba, being local born, diga hane manduma niti politi. Why one thing lo hamne gumnako, after bun gise livi hell, not only time e jane, mm -hmm. but learning from what happened in the Jawara region. Mm -hmm. Learning from 22 years. Ali Hausi Jami. Li a new dispensation open up. You take swing game and you pass it. That is the least we am. Ma am opportunity pour am politician bo hamne. This na amu def na kasulud nuru. Muswe kene am na bunta bi. Am na say say kina ukat. Mister Diu. Linga def Dior. Li du ko defendi. Te hamu si yule kena yomba. Muswe kene yun fiya yun aswi bopa. Paka hamu na yun bugun derasi yom. Man ngurgi. Wana alenko tena kwa television. Wana ni bugu masen contract, bugu mangu utu masen halis. Business mwa def mara ni shuma halis. Kama guy tafu ngagi sini, butu tinguuri dugusi. So therefore, amna lugulo hamne, fumne katolo na atio hamne. Wana ni yoboka sini ni 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 ama define deka bifi mwa rajublo. Moelinga wa legi ni hali yunda wili yonyo set sinyun. Yonyo set sinyun na wa kongu mali banyo. Pro wana regi na yuhe wu. Tawal Banjul was my initiative. Tawal Banjul, because Lulu Mota is not your name. Lulu Mota was my initiative. Great, okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you your concern. I'm going to tell you. 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 Because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about Banjul. Nous def amling bougon a def nous def quoi am sindam les temps on nous joue am on n'est am n'est sindam bah pas de on a n'est quoi am n'est sindam bah pas de nous on est né banjo lufa y est d'atout am n'est si cadre am n'est si loho te nous ça gagne politique là rek socially amu dans le yenga tu banjo te manque de masiboc religion amu dans le joue banjo te manque de masiboc dia fou politique du joue banjo te manque de masiboc Okay. Why do my player? No player. <laughs> I am not a player. Lerma. Part of the team. Uh -huh. Look at the team. For example, in the case of football. Yeah. Football. You know they make up the team. It's not the eleven that are kicking the ball. No, no. There are seven or so many reserves. The reserves. There are managers. The there are people who, yeah. even the spectators, need touch. Yeah. See team playing poker. Yeah. Man, not spectator la. Wow. Why not spectator bo hamne? I'm not ya karne. I'm not no po ya hamne. Legi legi. Dinga am access to nyom. Yeah. Pour bayer l'intérêt, nous bayer des astres. Ben, nous avons les vieux hondal, 
du amati leader si gata lila i will muna ko fine do ma musa dega man nek player in politics i am not interested wow i am not interested in politics i am not interested le bugo na xam rek mustafa ndiaye as a philanthropist because gis nañ ni nga def with the disabled people na la di nga just muna elaborate touti rek ban liggey nga am ak ñom na like lan nga nek di liggey ak ñom well xam nga dañu me corporate social responsibility any any corporation bo xamne ya nga def business lolu dang ko wara baye xel am am lo xamne du sa genné da nga wara am profit rek especially so judo si dekk wu melni gambia fo xamne ñepp xamanté nga judo di andan nit ngeen boka class yalla mera tay so rombé ñu ne ki lay ki ki def fele ben tay sa waru gal la pour nga gestu wat ñoy ñu tamit ay julit lañ ci dina bi dañ la wax ne la sa asaka dang ko wara genné asaka ci ben ci ponk l'islam yi la boka so it's compulsory it's mandatory on on man pour ma gene 2 and half percent of luma denja pour one year ma joxe ko halu su mako joxe rek muna faj lu bari so therefore lolou mo ngi dougal ci li am ñu bari ñuma waxtanal nañ xam suma affaire philosophy about life what i call the four quarters of life ci gawal rek ci gaw ni mu gëna gawé rek fim nek man man ci last quarter bi the last quarter is between 60 and 80 am so ko divide it's first 20 then the next is 40 years then 60 years the third one 80 years is the fourth one between 60 and 80 and in these two ñaari yef la am ci suma adina ben moy suma diganté ak suma borom ak suma diiné pour topato ko rek le ko dal topako bu baaxa baax ñaare bi moy suma legacy and suma legacy definitely it's on philanthropy and um, that is why ñu ngi set up suñu foundation bi di tap africa foundation we are committing 10% of our profits into the foundation you know su fekke ne am nañ profit yi su fekke ne 300 million over the next 10 years nga am profit di 10% is 30 million dollars 30 million dollars 10% of 3 million dollars over the next 10 years will be committed into our foundation and li ñu ko def out of passion luñ gom la dafa ko bu dara legal mu metti nak legal nga tok sa files yi ñi la laaj de zone moy ñu moy opa way nga santé ko yalla xamna yow rek nekku lo fi fi nga judo lo am fi la warna pour nit ñi su ñëwé ci yow nga digal la ñom ci teranga mu lo fajj soxla yépp mu ta am disable yi lolu mo xew dañ ma invite ne ma ñëw ma nek ma nek guest speaker seen ben event ma xol lañ fiñ tok you know spontaneously ma raise for some money ne li dal commit nako from li ni and the amount was about 300000 ma ne ku ci nek soko jé 10000 ñi tok bu da buñ fet ne dem na dimbalé wa xam lolu lum jur Dr Karamo Sonko suma chairman bam dege lolu ñew mo ne ko di guest speaker at the Tafcon mu commit 700000 mo ta def lu baax mu baax so defé lu baax ni ñi topandor la ci den dëkk bi naat waaw oli foy tidje finally waxtan bi neena te waxtu bi jeexna foy tidje oli ah fuma tidje rek moy miss ndjay li ñe bëgga xam ci mom dégg nañ ko ci mom ba paré mu nekk roy kay bo xamné du xalé rek mag ñeek ñepp ay roy ci mom gambia ku nekk dégg na taf ku nekk gis na li taf def so ba paré man dal ma ñax ni dal suma stem bi man mang ci tie bi tay dal suma stem bi dal man mang ci tie dégg la mom skills soxla nañ ko bi mu ngi wax jafé jafé yim lay am suy soxla liggéey du am liggéey kat yi so xam nañ ñe ya ngi fi xam nañ ñe ya ngi dimbalé ñep xam nañ ñe buñta mi ibé ku nañ pour suñ ko ñëwé foga rek mu japp nañ ñi so lolu contane ci taraf te ñi sétan tam xamna ya yi tok dañ wax seen domine joglen ki fim commencer dégg ngeen ko yari mu nga commencer fofu nga mek so once again rek ñu ngi la wax jere jef ci li nga xamne mo nga commencer ci gambie bi be fum nek ni mom ni ngi ko waxe ku am ten plot sa amna real estate waye yep dig ni ko just to thank the man and like the wallows will say mun sa bopa mom sa bopa gom sa bopa that's the epitome of the man who's sitting right here with us and not only a trailblazer but an icon and not only an icon but a reference and not only a reference but someone that gambians must emulate irrespective of gender age affiliation or anything made in the gambia proudly gambian and something that should be a mirror for the gambia thank you mr jay thank you thank you so much mr jay fo ci jay lan ngay wax gambia ni la setan well hamad len geureum rek gambia li ma wax bari na fim nega di wax dafa xew am wa wa dafa xew so lima wax rek moy suma suma mujjenté li kadu am moy rek nañ bayyi xel ci dekk bi fiñ ko jubal 
kon ni ma la waxe affaire wax wa dafa xew ak la ñu liggey te ñu wañu wax gi tuti buñ ba buñ topa ñena dekay ñu wor ñi gis ñena dekay ñu wor dang de hey suba rek gis ñu benn télévision bu jox o benn radio rek laaj ku la neex rek ñu wax rek di wax rek te fa lañ bugga jublu si dekk bi nañ bayyi xel ne dekk bu tuti lañ nañ bayyi xel ne amuñ amuñ kom kom lol suñ kom kom forul suñ waré tekki dañ wara liggey so ma ngay ñaax espèce de yeen ndaw yi ne ngeen bayyi xel ci liggey ma suma rayit la suma wajje wajji bari na so tigi rayo yi legi wajji bari na dama ñaan dal nañ wañi wajji waaw nañ wañi wajji tuti degg la wax baax na you know pour way nak nañ ko wañi tuti ñu liggey tamit liggey ci la bokka and dama ten bobu la gis dal ñu ko xala deme ma ko bayyi xel ma di len gërem yeen tamit ma parce que li ni won yere go amu fi won digi len di gërem ñi len jappale parce que li su waré am ku nek xamna ko ne sponsor ci la am hawma ñena sen sponsor in detail way gërem len tamit warna di gërem sen partner ci xamna ne JRTS am sen partner lañ gërem len legal legi xamna ñe ngeen tabbu ngante way ñu wax moy ne boñ ak la meñ ño dekate nañ matante di len encourage pour ngeen continuer liggey ak ñom waaw anda bo gis rek dina am ngiro ngaro bu ci nekka sey mo gina jega ñante diga da jeka radio war te bor bu set problème am ñu rek la ko so lool ma ne sey en courage ma ko bayyi xel am sen partner jartes la fexe len dal ngeen set ma nga na liggey am germande du du mëna jeex di gërem cameraman yi you know the media the public am gambia nak ko lima wax rek cioli mom du jeex legi social media xew xamna li nga degg di nak ñu bet nañ ko analyser bor bu neka way ci la bokka am suma 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 gis gis yi ma de wax toujours moy ne and ñu ñu bari diko wax yonenta bi sallallahu alayhi wasallam mo gen ci mindef yalla ko yoni lim daj ñu ñop kenn duko daj so ku baax munta ñaka non bo so ñi nek ci kanam nañ baye sen xel na li ñana sani xeri ñana sani wax ñu wax ci ñom nay ci baye xel xamne success comes with a price yeah. and this is the price you have to pay yeah. again i cannot but thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart and your co-host mm. i want to encourage you um, i pray for you that you grow from uh, where you are now into higher heights okay. everybody knows that every media person's dream is to own a television mm -hmm. well good luck i pray for you that you succeed beyond your expectations mm -hmm. and a big thank you to you okay. Thank you very much Mr. Ndai and thank you for hosting us and thank you for inspiring so many young Gambians ah ñu content bu baaxa baax ba di gërem Mr. Usainu Sosé tay we worked with him to make sure ne show with them i have said it you know the interaction wo am ak sa team bi in this short uh, time is uh, manifest na the kind of leader you are and i think a lot of Gambians will learn from this interview tough the man tough the businessman and why and how um, betay nga nek fi kon ñu ngi la gërem bu baaxa baax mr ndiaye di gërem the entire production team good night to you all see you next week